is Natras and in this video I am going to talk about uh, most regularly asked interview question that is what is the difference between servlet config object servlet context object if you go to 10 interviews at least in 9 interviews this question will be asked that much popular it is first of all let me say servlet config object is one per our servlet class object servlet context object is one per our web application that means in my web application if 10 servlet components are there the container creates which container servlet container creates 10 servlet config objects but it will have only it will maintain only one servlet context object let me put these discussions in the form of diagram so let us assume this is my web server or application server so let me take something like this this is my web server or application server let me put like this web server or application server in that one I am taking two web applications web application 1 web application 2 so this is my wa1 nothing but web application this is wa2 nothing but web application right let us take few servlet config servlet class this is one servlet class object this is one servlet class object this is my JSP component this is my HTML file this is my image file so here servlet config object will be there here one servlet config object and uh, for this web application there will be one servlet context object so what is this servlet object object this is my JSP JSP component yeah for every JSP internally an equivalent servlet will be generated that's why for every JSP component there will be one servlet config object CZ means servlet config object CZ means servlet config object this is my HTML file this is not a Java component that's why there is no question of having servlet config object this is image file here we won't have this is also non Java component so there will not be any servlet config object here is servlet context object servlet context object of WA1 web application WA1 web application let's move to this one here I am taking our servlet one more servlet here JSP here I am just taking one HTML file let's put in words servlet object here JSP component here servlet object here is what HTML file right as usually here one config object here one config object here is one config object so let me represent config object in the form of CZ in the form of CZ in the form of CZ 
for HTML file there will not be any servlet to config object this is a servlet to context object for what wa2 web application wa2 web application so once again servlet config object is one per our servlet class object anyhow for every jsp internally what an equivalent servlet uh, class will be generated so that for every jsp also there will be one servlet config object html files image files are not non java component that's why they don't have any servlet config object let us try to understand discussions about various points related to this servlet config object and servlet context objects so this is my servlet config object in shortcut i am representing it as what c c yeah it is one per our servlet class object so generally we also call it as right hand object to our servlet class object using this object we can pass information to servlet and we can gather information about servlet being from servlet it is not object of java x dot servlet dot servlet config interface it is the object of a underlying container supplied java class that implements java x dot servlet dot servlet config interface but we never highlight this class name because this class name will change server to server or container to container next using this object we can read servlet init parameter values that are kept in what web dot xml file during servlet configuration using this object we can even access uh servlet context object that means in order to access servlet context object yes you can happily use what servlet config object also fine what is the real time usage of servlet config object let us assume i have a servlet component there i want to write to jdbc code to interact with the database software generally to write jdbc code we need to have four jdbc properties number 1 driver class name number 2 url number 3 database username number 4 database password but hard coding them directly in servlet component is a bad practice because i want to have flexibility of modification in order to get this flexibility of modification it is recommended to pass them from outside the servlet component there are two ways to do this we can get them as request parameter values nothing but form data but form data comes from what browser browser means it is under control of end user end user cannot give technical data so that we cannot read jdbc properties from the end user in the form of form data so that option is ruled out other option that is left is what we can place this jdbc properties in web.xml file as servlet init parameter values during servlet configuration in that situation in order to read them in order to read them in our servlet component definitely we can take the support of what servlet config object actually what happens whenever servlet config object is created it will go to in memory metadata of web dot xml file observes for the current servlet are there any init parameter names and values there takes them and stores into servlet config object that is the reason we are able to read init parameter values from what servlet config object similarly let us try to understand what is servlet context object
it is one per web application the data kept in this sarlet context object is visible and accessible in all java web components of web application that's why it is also called as global memory of the web application what memory global memory of the web application next it is the object of underlying servlet container supplied java class that implements servlet context interface next we can use this object for multiple operations let me explain one by one using this object we can know the current servlet api version used by the server using this object we can know current web application name nothing but context path of the web application using this object we can know information about underlying server using this object we can get path of current web application and path of any web component that is there in the current web application and we can create a st input stream pointing to any web resource of any resource of the web application what's the use of it suppose if i want to perform file uploading uh, creating input stream reading the content of the resource and sending that content to browser as a response is very very important in that situation we can take the support of this object to get uh, input stream pointing to any resource and uh, we can write log messages to log file in tomcat kind of server every day one log file will be created in tomcat home slash logs folder being from serverlet if you want to write log messages to that log file definitely we can use the support of this serverlet context object so that means it's a multi purpose object we can use this object in multiple angles what's the use of this concept in real time practices as i said um, while performing file uploading if you want to get the path of the file or input stream representing to that particular file definitely you can take the support of our servlet context object similarly you have a multiple servlet components or jsp component using jdbc properties same jdbc properties to interact with the database software in that situation instead of writing init parameters in every servlet or jsp configuration you can write them only for one time as what global init parameters or context parameters in web.xml file global init parameters or context parameters in what web.xml file and we can read them through servlet context object we can happily read them through what servlet context object now the question that comes in our brain is who creates these objects both servlet config servlet context objects will be created by servlet container when these objects will be created servlet container creates our servlet class object right after that object it will create what servlet config object and try to initialize this object with our servlet class object by calling init with one parameter method that is nothing but servlet config object when it will be destroyed servlet container destroys servlet config object right after our servlet class object destruction fine then what about servlet context object servlet container creates servlet context object either during server startup or during the deployment of web application similarly servlet container destroys servlet context object when web application is stopped or reloaded or undeployed or when server is stopped or server is what crashed that means these two objects management will be completely taken care by whom servlet container itself
So when an interviewer puts this question to you, first draw the diagram and talk some points about Sarlet config object and talk some points about what Sarlet context object. If possible, try to explain that JDBC properties related real-time use cases with respect to Sarlet config object and with respect to Sarlet context object. I hope you got clarity about what Sarlet context object and Sarlet config object. Thank you. You can catch me for more videos in this particular channel.